Jeff, is that your, is, is that typical for you during practice to be that involved? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I am pretty involved. I think I don't know how that involved. I'm just involved. Um, you know, we have a lot of teaching to do, and and our guys are very eager and willing uh, listeners and learners. Um, but we have a lot of teaching to do, and that's that's exciting to me. What do you think, Jeff? That surprised you the most about the sick group so far in your months working? Yeah, I don't know if anything has surprised me. Um, as I've gotten to know these guys, I think they're they're a group of guys that that are hungry to be good, uh, and I think they understand that it's a process in order to to take to take the necessary steps to make that happen. And we have to go through that process, and going through that process is difficult, is challenging. Um, you know, it's not easy. And it's, it's, it's every day having the right attitude, having the right mindset, and showing up every day with the, uh, with the goal of trying to get better and not just trying to get through. And so, you know, we've done, th th this group has done that. And, and I'm not surprised by that as I've gotten to know them. I'm gonna, guess, about, I'm gonna guess that you don't reference last year too much with this group. It's no, I don't. Going forward. I don't, I don't, I try not to. What, 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 are you, what kind of goals are you setting for this group this year? Just to try to get better every day, to try to improve every day, to try to uh, understand the importance of each day, understand how to work, uh, to get to a point where, where we've earned the right to be good. And that's a process. It's not something that's just given. You have to earn it. You have to fight for it every day. And uh, again, that's the mindset that we have to have. How have the uh, newcomers uh, progressed so far to this point? They've been good. Our new guys have been good. Um, you know, the new guys are the freshmen in, in city, but really all of them are new because what we're doing is different. But our, our freshmen in city have, have, have been really good. Um, you know, City got here a little bit later. He didn't get here to the fall semester. Started where the other guys were here for at least one summer session, uh, trade being two. And uh, you know they've learned how to work a little bit better. They've gotten a little bit stronger. They've gotten you know in better shape. Um, I think they understand a little bit more of of uh, what a college practice is going to be like, and and just the attention. Now what they have to learn is, is, is the recovery. This is different. So from the time we started school until now, you know, we had four hours a week. You know, well now we're going to start putting together days, uh, you know, back to back. And uh, so now this is a different learning curve for them to understand recovery, where rest is even more important, stretching and all those things. Um, but they've done a really good job for us so far. You know, there is some, but because he has experience, you know, I think that's helped him. And, and, and not just experience, he's won. You know, he's been on a team and a, and a big part of a team that's that's won 54 games in the last two years. And uh, two NCAA tournaments and the year before that, you know, they were, they were really good as well. So there's some things as far as uh, terminology and, you know, some of the ways that we do things is a little bit behind. But his experience, his maturity, and all those things have, have helped them kind of catch up. Now, what's ha he's a little bit banged up right now. And so we're probably going to sit him the rest of this week in practice to let him heal because we need him. Uh, but but he's, been, he's been really good for us. Have you seen from your three big guys that played last year that kind of gives you uh, some, some thoughts that they can develop beyond what they showed on the floor last year? You know, well, well, first and foremost, they're young, and so they have, uh, they have a lot to learn. And some of the things that we're doing and asking them to do, it's very different. So even though they're, they have some playing experience, it's like they're freshmen all over again. And a lot of times it, it takes a little bit longer for a big guy to kind of understand those things. Um, I think they've had good attitudes. I think they've come to work, but it's a process of, of doing that. And as long as they can continue to have really good attitudes, and accept coaching and understand that it's not criticism, it's coaching. You're trying to, you know, you want the best for them and that our team needs the best from them. Um, they'll continue to grow. As a returning senior, how has uh, Jared Wilson frame kind of taken on a leadership role? Yeah, Jared's been terrific. Um, 
you know, since since I got here, you know, he's he's bought in. That means he's done absolutely everything right, but he's done most things right. And most importantly, you know, he's had a really good attitude, uh, and I think that shows up on the court. There's a lot that Jerry can do. Uh, the thing we've talked about is being efficient, and he should be a guy that's a really efficient player and do more than just shoot. You know, and 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 I think he's understanding, you know, like the different ways he can have impact on the game. But he's been really good from a from a maturity standpoint, you know, from a leadership standpoint. You know, he's been good, and from a buy-in standpoint, he's been terrific. With uh, six weeks until your first game, Jeff, how close is this team to being realistically where you would want them to be going into that season opener? Well, I know it's going to be a process. Again, you know, we, we, we had a summer where we did stuff and we had a plan of what we wanted to try to accomplish in the summer, and I think we did that. And then once we started school, we knew we had about 30 days until today uh, where we had a plan of mapping out of where we wanted to be at this point. And I think we... You know, we met that. Obviously, we we have about you know almost you know 30 days before the first real game, and and so we want to utilize every day to continue to get better, and hopefully, you know, by that time, we're ready. Uh, I don't think any team is ready right now. Some teams are really talented, and you know, but I don't think any team, I don't think any coach would feel like they're ready now. And so, you know, for us, it's taking the necessary steps every day, you know, to do that and to have the right attitude and show up to work every day. Yeah, when you talk about the, you're asking them to do different things, is it a stylistic thing I mean, more than anything else? I mean, how different, could you be any specific at all about sort of what you're asking these guys to do maybe this year that this wasn't asked to do last year? Or was well, I don't know what they were asked to do last year, so I can't comment on that. But it's just, uh, you know, we want to play a little bit faster than they did last year. You know, I, I think they were a team that played some zone. You know, we haven't done that yet. So defensively, we want to be better. You know, then, then, then the statistics were last year that I've looked at. I haven't really watched them from last year. Um, you know, obviously the terminology is different. Some of the things that we're doing, you know, as as far as coverages and uh, offensively, you know, some of the things that we're doing, like that's different. And so th th those are the differences that I'm talking about. Without any true, without any true point guards with college experience on the roster, do you feel comfortable trusting one of these true freshmen to kind of run the offense and be the primary ball handler? I do, I do, but it won't just be one of the freshmen. I mean, City's a guy that can do that as a fifth-year guy. Malik is a guy that could do that at times. So, um, you know, I, I don't know how many true point guards there are anymore in basketball. Period. Uh, and, and so, you know, we'll have different guys that we feel like can be lead guards for us and, and initiate some things in our offense for us. Thanks, guys. Thanks.